welcome back everyone so simply we will search in google kali linux and this is uh, the official website kali linux uh, sorry kali.org we will click this and it will open this link actually like this so you have to click on downloads and then you will have this uh, option to choose different platforms so we are actually we're going to use uh, virtual machines and then you will see this screen so we have different virtual machines 64 bit 32 bit so we want to select 64 bit it's pre already selected and we are going to select our virtual box uh, you can download it around 2.7 gigabyte so when you download click on in this it will start downloading so i have actually already downloaded to save time so i'll cancel this and you can see this is my kali linux virtual box amd7 so first i have to go to the file location where uh, it's downloaded so it's in the download folder as you can see and i will right click and extract this extract here you need winrar or also 7zip it says okay so actually virus uh, antivirus caught it and that's why i was not able to extract so i will for the time being stop the virus protection temper protection and cloud protection as well as real-time protection for now and now again i will try to extract here now we are able to extract it as you can see it's not virus actually but windows defender is uh, blocking it so we need to disable it for a while for some time and un uh, until the installation is complete we will extract this file after the extraction is done we'll have our kali linux 2023.2 virtual box amd64 and then we have to uh, it will be probably uh, ova file dot ova file that we need to extract or uh, import for virtual box So complete to down here. This is our file, and we are looking for this VBox and VDI. So uh, VBox is not OVA file actually. So. We'll click on add instead of new or import if it is a OBA file we'll import if it is ISO file we'll click on new and then we can now we want to add actually and then go to downloads here we have the V box that we want to add actually so before adding I want to move this file or I'll just cut the file and move it to D drive where I have virtual machines I'll just paste it here uh, this is extra step uh, because I have low space in C drive so that is why I'm moving it in my D drive and then uh, after this uh, I will add the file from virtual box So it is done and we will go to 
virtual box add and then go to d drive go to virtual box machines and go to kali linux we'll add the vbox open and as you can see it's already added now we'll go to settings and see and the advanced you can choose bi-directional but it is default i mean uh, I mean you can disable it but it is by default bi-directional shared clipboard drag and drop and then we will go to uh, system 2 gigabyte is sufficient already taken and then we will go display the video memory is also full by default it's already taken and then the network is net for now later we can use host only adapter also but net is okay for now so we can just click on okay and then start this machine So that simple it is uh, to uh, download and install Kali Linux in VirtualBox. So now the system is booting up. So uh, we can see there is a change in the interface earlier it was blue now they are changing is changing the display uh, the color black for wind uh, Kali Linux 2023.2 So the system is booting up. And if you observe uh, here, details, you can see that uh, the username to login is Kali and the password is also Kali. So that we will use to log in later on we can change the default password also that I will show you in the upcoming videos now we are logging in And we can uh, open this virtual box virtual machine in full screen as you can see and this is how it is we have different uh, tools like information gathering tools and vulnerability analysis web application analysis data database assessment tools password attack tools wireless attacks reverse engineering exploitation tools sniffing and spoofing post exploitation forensics reporting tools social engineering etc here we can see and we have a browser here and this is the file system this is the home directory and you can open terminal using this button let's check the ip address as we are in net network so we should have internet access later on we can use the host only adapter network also later uh, we have internet access we can we can ping the DNS of Cloudflare Cloudflare and you can see we are getting response You can ping Google as well so we have internet access so this is how we can download and install the VirtualBox version of Kali Linux in Windows using VirtualBox inside VirtualBox so power of the machine 
and we have now Kali Linux as well. So we will use both this machine, Parrot Security Operating System and Kali Linux as our attacking machine in our upcoming videos and we are setting up the ethical hacking virtual lab and these are our virtual uh, victim machines metasploitable 2 windows server 2019 metasploitable 3 and metasploitable 3 we have two machines like one windows server 2008 and ubuntu 1404 and then we have windows 10 machine so there is a typo in the name this make it windows 10 yes so it's done so thanks for watching i will upload uh, in my upcoming video you can see uh, how we can download and install some more vulnerable victim machines and active directories so stay tuned thanks for watching